One of the biggest lessons I got these past weeks is that so many times we're attached to how things should play out in our lives and we miss opportunities. Now, with the current situation in the world, it's very easy to understand that if we stay attached to how things were before, we're not able to live in today's world. Like, if you are attached to meeting people in person and you know, feeding yourself and, and taking energy out of meeting people for lunch and coffee and, and interacting with people, you might be struggling right now. You might be suffering right now. And that's because we have attachments. We have attachments of how things should be done. In Sweden, you know, we have this culture. And I think it's not only Sweden. It's not a Swedish thing. It's, it's more of a business thing. In many cultures, we like to create a personal collection over the lunchtime or over a dinner, over, a, you know, maybe a glass of wine or a coffee. And that's the way we create, used to create business connections. Now, in today's world, that's limited. We are limited to do that. I mean, we used to travel to see our clients in Japan, our suppliers in Japan. And that was normal operation, like at least once a year, we went there, there and, and we meet with them and we definitely create some you know, amazing relationships. But can we do that now? Perhaps we can, but to the same extent we've done it before? I don't think so. So there might be a while until we're able to go back and do those things the way we've done it. So how do we do in the meantime? You know, in the meantime, we need to, you know, just remove this attachment that we had that we can only create relationships if we meet in person. No, that's not true. Sometimes, one of the best relationships I have in my life are with people I have never met in person. I have never met in person. We, we spoke over the phone. No, we spoke on Zoom or any other video calling um, you know, tool. But we have not met in person. So if we are attached to the way how things should play out in our life, we, we do two things. We miss opportunities and we get disappointed. You know, one of my mentors says that disappointment comes from attachment. Now, not all attachments give disappointments, but 100% of disappointments come from attachment. If I'm attached of things playing in a certain way and they don't play in that way, I get disappointed. If I'm attached to getting a certain result, I don't get that result, I'm disappointed. If I'm attached that by this date I should get this income and I don't get it, I get disappointed. If I'm attached that I should be getting from point A to point B this way and instead of going this way, you go this uh, you know, way, what happens? I get disappointed. It takes me longer. It's not the way I thought. Or, or I'm missing opportunity because the opportunities come disguised in another way that I thought. So if someone comes to me and wants to have a call with me because they have an opportunity, if, that, if I filter out and say, okay, up until now, no one came to me from this source and they wanted to have a call and then I got business from there, so I don't think this works, I dismiss it because it's not the way I think it should come. What happens is that I miss that opportunity because it's not this guy's disguise in, in the way I want it to be. It's not an apple. It's maybe a pear or, or, or an orange. And I don't want an orange. But they are the same vitamins inside an apple and an orange. Am I attached to have the apple? Yes, I am. So then I don't want the orange. So I don't get the vitamins because they do not come in the form I expected. So anytime we are attached to the way things they should play out in our life, in any area of our life, we set ourselves up for failure. Once we get disappointed when they don't play the way we want, and secondly, we miss opportunities because they don't appear to be opportunities. 
They don't appear to be what we're looking for. And because we are not open enough, we're attached to a certain way, we miss those. So I encourage you to be more open-minded. We cannot stay close-minded in today's situation. We cannot do that. We are not able to adapt and, you know, thrive in the future without being open-minded. So if you are attached to, you know, your career should look like that. I need to go to this position, to this position to get here. You know, who says that? And from where did you get that, that idea, that attachment, that scenario? What if you get there in another way? Would you be happy? I don't know. You have to ask yourself this question. I hope this is thought-provoking and I hope you will take some time to reflect and to think through this and I look forward to hear from you if you have something to share, if you want us to maybe have a call or bounce back some ideas, just get in touch with me, you know, write me here on this platform and uh, I, look, I look forward to, to be in touch with you. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.